like to thank everyone for coming today for Jack's last day with us. It is time for him to go out and see the world. You gave us a little scare this week, Jack. <laughs> with the deep slumber, but um, we're really happy to see that you pulled through. You got your legs underneath you and you're ready to go see the world. Yeah, yeah. I don't I don't say yo enough at the beginning of songs or verses. This is my story. And to the person who currently lives in my old apartment, I apologize for turning your apartment into Abbey Road. I grew up on North Cliff Boulevard apartment 620, the son of Joan and Arger, with my grandfather, born in Macedonia, but that's another story, and this is my opus. You can call me Derek, Atanis, Christoph, middle named after my grandpa. We all lived on the sixth floor, in no weight like Aikman. Mommy worked mornings, daddy worked the late shift, and me, I'd walk around aimlessly. Not a care in the world, then I'd lace up my byway slamming jams. You know the ones with the half basketball on the tongue, and you front like they pumps, but they ain't pumping shit. Chubby white boy, quit jumping. You ain't dunking, kid. The NBA you will never see, but the one thing I know I'll forever be is Derek from North Cliff Boulevard apartment 620. Listening to hip hop, wishing some kid from some unknown boulevard will be listening to his song like. Derek from North Cliff Boulevard Apartment 620 Listening to hip hop Wishing some kid from some unknown boulevard Will be listening to his song like this Back then we all had a dream But nobody grows up to be an astronaut <laughs> Unless of course you're an astronaut So no offense NASA None taken Cool I lock my bedroom door, slip a cassette tape in my Walkman And slip that Walkman in the pocket of my Bart Simpson shorts Hat to the back, black comb in my palm And perform every song from He's the DJ, I'm the rapper the Fresh prints in my reflection In my mind I was on stage at Maple Leaf Gardens Where I watched a vanilla ice concert with my mom And thought, maybe I can do that 20 years later, yeah I can do that Minus the dance moves and the diamond suits and that I'd rather be the grown-up version of Derek from North Cliff Boulevard Apartment 620 Listening to hip-hop Wishing some kid from some unknown boulevard Will be listening to his song like Derek from North Cliff Boulevard Apartment 620 Listening to hip-hop Wishing some kid from some unknown boulevard Will be listening to his song like this Derek from North Cliff Boulevard Apartment 620 Listening to hip hop Wishing some kid from some unknown boulevard Will be listening to his song like Derek from North Cliff Boulevard Apartment 620 Listening to hip hop Wishing some kid from some unknown boulevard Will be listening to his song like this <laughs> Like this and like that and like this and a yeah the song, the song makes me want to reminisce, take it back, back in the days when I was young, I'm not a kid anymore, but sometimes I really wish I was a kid again, I sang that shit with my eyes closed, one headphone off, Mariah Carey, Christmas album, <laughs> this beat makes me think of summer mornings, be up early but wasn't allowed to call Michael Deese until 10 a.m. Neither of us were e were allowed to call either of us until 10 a.m. Or else we get shit. Such a weird, weird time. Then I'd, I'd race like three doors down to Michael Deese's place and then we head up to Andrew Marcagiano's and get the day started. Which meant going down to Fairbank Park. And staying there all day Fairbank pool And swim To 
they got rid of the high diving board. I don't know why they ever did that. It doesn't make any sense. We'd meet up with Chris Harrison. That was like my first best friend ever. I saw, I saw him recently when I was taping Rap City. He's like, he's got a really big beard now. He didn't have any facial hair at all when we were kids. And then uh, we, Robert Budd would show up. Robert Budd he used to be able to pop wheelies like all the way through Fairbank Park. I'm serious, through the entire park. And he used to piss me off because I wasn't really athletic. Back then, I was in, I was in love with Savina Primi. But she loved Robert Budd. And I, I can't get mad at that. Because any man who could pop a wheelie throughout an entire park, he deserved it. Like, he deserved it. And we'd all head up by Santino D'Alfonso's house and make our way to Ron Nadu's. Sup, Ron? Ryan, Anita. We'd make videos because they had a camcorder to Bell Biv DeVoe with Gregory Nolan. <laughs> Helen Theophylactidis and Sophie Zagas lived around the corner. Sophie Zagas was my first crush ever. <laughs> and I tried to put my arm around her once in kindergarten. She, she yelled ill and threw it off her shoulder. That was kind of embarrassing. But uh, yeah. <laughs> L Lauren Zakari would show up. I'd always end up going back to Lauren's house after. And his dad would freak the fuck out because his basement was dirty. Threaten to throw the kitchen table out the window. <laughs> Say, we're not eating dinner for a week. So it's like starving yourself. It doesn't even make sense. He always like wanted to extend punishments by weeks, week intervals. Yeah, it was tough. Every, every time I'd sleep over at Lauren and his brother Lee's house, an athlete would die. So, we'd be iffy on, you know. And it's true, it happened twice, two times in a row, so we were scared to death. And then I remember uh, one time we, we, we saw an episode of Full House where they did a time capsule and buried shit in the sand. And uh, Lauren Zakari signed a Joe Carter baseball card by himself and acted like that was an autograph and I put in my Hulk Hogan headband and we buried that shit in Fairbank Park he told me like 10 years later that him and his brother went back and dug it out because they wanted the Hulk Hogan headband <laughs> I still stayed friends with Lauren I forgave him it's kind of smart I didn't really I didn't really like Joe Carter so fuck it it is what it is and Richie Chang he was there Richie Chang was the first guy ever to show me how to melt craft singles on bread in the microwave. Tr cheese sandwiches. Ghetto cheese sandwiches. That shit blew my fucking mind. But wait. That was science. That was my first foray into science. Yeah. Times were good then.